hello hello i am hopping on voiceover for this part as you can see we are starting this vacation prep video off at target to grab some vacation essentials i started in the swimsuit section and browsed a little bit i thought that green one was really cute with a lot of nice detailing then i checked out the shoe area i was just kind of looking for some more stylish trendy beach shoes thought about these black ones but i didn't love them enough to get them so did not end up getting those but then i moved on over to the beauty section i picked up a sun bum spf face mist not only for vacation potentially but also for every day i get very lazy when it comes to applying spf on a daily basis so with a face mist i feel like there's no excuse for me to miss a day even though this one is like 18 or 19 dollars which is pretty expensive i'm hoping it will be worth the money Anyways, I started looking through some of these little minis as well. So cute. There were a lot of really good brands. Not Your Mother's is one of my favorites. Native, Shea Moisture, lots of good options. Probably would have gotten some of these if I didn't already have them in full size. Then I popped over to the fragrance area. I really wanted a unique travel fragrance. One that wasn't too expensive, so I didn't have to worry if I lost it or if it broke or leaked or anything like that. Um, I really wanted Coconut Palm by Mix Bar. And I happened to grab the last one of the travel size, so that was pretty lucky. I've heard good things about this Revolution Cream Bronzer as well, so I snatched one up in the light color. I think cream products are just easier for travel, and especially in the hot climate, I think it will just sit better on my skin. Next, I wanted a waterproof mascara because I am going to be sweating, I'm gonna be in the water, all of the things, so I wanna make sure that I have a waterproof mascara as opposed to my regular. I quite literally scavenged for the NYX This Is Juice Gloss. This is the pomegranate one. I just feel like this gives me vacation vibes. Then I popped over to the tree hut area and grabbed a new sugar scrub. I usually get the Tahitian vanilla bean scent, which I'm grabbing in the shave oil right now, but they didn't have that in the scrub. So I decided to try the Coco Colada instead. I also considered these Dove ones, but I opened one of them and it had little like hairs in it. Not a fan of that. So we put that one back pretty fast. Then I needed a new deodorant. I'm going to try this coconut scented one. I've never tried it before, but the gel ones by Secret are where it's at. They're the only ones that work. 100% for me. Such cute Valentine's Day stuff out already. Like I really, the pillows, the blankets, everything, I'm here for it. The little heart-shaped pillow. I had to take a moment to remind myself that Valentine's Day is only one day a year, not like a full month to decorate and celebrate. But I did see these little mugs and one of them on the inside says, I love you. And then the other one says, I love you more. And once I realized that these kind of went together, I knew I had to get them for my mom and I to match because we say that to each other all the time. And I just thought it would be a really nice just because gift for her. Another item unrelated to vacation, but still important to me. I've been looking for a little tray to place my skincare on top of in my bathroom. Target had a lot of really great options. I ended up finding this little glass tray sitting out randomly like unmarked. So I price checked it and it was a pretty good price for the quality. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I scoured the Target for these baby washcloths. I kid you not, I was in the baby section for like 10 whole minutes looking for these, but I wanted to get these because Chloe Yasmin here on YouTube highly, highly recommends them for cleansing your downstairs area. Saw the Bulls and Lakers sweatpants, thought maybe there'd be some Milwaukee Bucks stuff, but there wasn't, so moving on. I took a look at some of the little minis. There were some really nice ones, but I was mainly looking for empty ones to put some of my full-size products in for travel. I found these little 75 cent containers and I think these will be perfect. They also had a mini of this Olay body wash, which is one of my faves. So I grabbed that and then some feminine wipes. I've never tried this kind before, but I figured I would give them a try because we're going to be in a hot climate and you never know when I'll want to just freshen up. So yeah, that is everything. All right, we are now at Sephora. The first thing I went ahead and grabbed was this First Aid Beauty moisturizer. Because I'm running low on my current moisturizer and I'll probably just take the remainder of that on my trip with me. So I wanted to re-up. Then I'm trying out the Sephora Coconut Lip Mask. I didn't wanna take my full-size Laneige one, so we're trying the cheaper alternative. And then I was checking out this Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I read that this is waterproof, sweatproof, full coverage. Sounds great to me for a hot climate, so we're going to give it a try. And then I was hoping to try the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush since it has been raved about, but there were no colors in stock that really interested me. 
but I discovered that Say Beauty has a liquid blush that looks just as beautiful and blends even better. And that concludes my vacation essentials shopping. At this point, my nails and my toes are already done, as you may have noticed, but I did need to deep condition my hair and shave my body. So I used the Tahitian Vanilla Bean Scrub and Shave Oil from Tree Hut to shave my legs. A Not Your Mother's Leave-In Conditioner for that extra moisture, the EOS Body Lotion, and then after I got out of the shower, I did go ahead and shave my arms as well. I don't usually do this, but I felt it was necessary for vacation since I want that sun to just be hitting my arms in every way possible. We are leaving to catch a flight to go on vacation in less than 24 hours, so it's time to start packing. I got a package from Sheen a little while ago. I ordered some new vacation wardrobe items. I got four new pairs of denim shorts. A basic cropped green tank and some super soft flared leggings from Glow Mode. So I'm gonna start putting together some outfit combinations I'd like to bring and then I'll start packing it all up. Okay, I think we have everything out and good to go, ready to be packed away into the suitcase. I have three pairs of denim shorts. I'm going to be bringing three pairs of athletic shorts for the comfort, a couple off the shoulder tops, and then this is a black little tank with lace detailing, two dresses. This one's just a simple black dress and then one with cute little flowers on it. I'm bringing a white button up because it's such a versatile piece. You can use it as a cover up on the beach. You can add it to an outfit. You can use it when you're a little cold. I have my new pair of black flare leggings and that new green tank as well as a baseball cap that matches. I think this might be my airport fit. I have sports bras, a regular bra, some underwear, two camis, kind of a neutral basic tee, and then a little Christian tee underneath, pajamas back there, swimsuits. And then this is for my carry-on, just a t-shirt, shorts, and a swimsuit. In case our luggage happens to get lost, it's just good to have. So I'm gonna get all this into there, and then we'll work on getting all my toiletries and hygiene stuff in order. Okay, now let's talk all things hygiene, health, beauty, etc. First, I'm just packing up some of my supplements that I take daily. Then I'm transferring small amounts of products from my full-size containers into these small ones I got from Target. I am packing away some of my conditioner, some shave oil, and also some of the wash I use for my downstairs area, putting those in a plastic baggie with the Olay body wash mini size I picked up from Target. Another product I am bringing is this Venus Daily Soothing Serum to help me recover from the full body shave I just did and just prevent the possibility of ingrowns, razor bumps, redness, any discomfort. Then just one of my staple hair products. This is the Not Your Mother's Naughty to Nice Detangler. This is great to just throw in your hair to add some moisture and prevent any tangles, which happen a lot on vacation. I'm bringing a comb for that post conditioning routine that I do for my hair, a baby washcloth to cleanse my downstairs area, then a razor, of course, in case I need to touch up any areas on my body. I'm bringing my Hero Cosmetics pimple patches because you just never know when one will pop up and you just don't want that to be lingering throughout your vacation. So just in case I need those. These are my one day contact lenses and then my glasses, of course, in case I just don't feel like contact lenses or for late at night. These are my sunglasses. They're just an Amazon pair, very simple. A claw clip for my hair, a scrunchie for my hair since I like to sleep in a scrunchie typically, some tampons and some feminine wipes since I will be on my period going into this flight and vacation. So we love that. I have a mix of the S pluses, super plus, and some regulars, and of course the wipes just in case. So love to be prepared. These are my daily supplements all mixed together in the same bag, but my mom bought me a little pill organizer. So I'm just going to plan to separate them all out when I get to my parents' house later today. 
then my retainer, and of course my toothpaste. This is a special prescribed toothpaste with extra fluoride in it since I have sensitive enamel. If any of you are curious, some floss and my favorite deodorant. I'm not packing a toothbrush because I usually use an electric toothbrush, but for this trip, I will be using a standard normal toothbrush, which my parents already have for all of us at their house. I'm bringing some Excedrin migraine and ibuprofen just because you never know when those period menstrual headaches will strike some band-aids just in case because you never know and then that sun bum face sunscreen in my little makeup and beauty pouch here i have my juno skin cleansing balm this is going to be kind of my everyday makeup remover i have my moisturizer from inky list the omega water cream there's only a little bit of this left so i think i'm going to end up using the rest of it on this vacation the caffeine eye cream also from the inky list also in here is that little mix bar perfume travel size in coconut palm that i got earlier as well as some of my other new pickups including the makeup forever concealer the revolution cream bronzer the say beauty liquid blush and of course the waterproof mascara and my lash curl and these lip products, which I'm really excited to try. The only two brushes I am bringing are these two face brushes from Real Techniques for those cream products, and I'm just packing all of that away into my checked bag. As for my carry-on, I am of course bringing a crew neck to throw over anything, a book to read, my phone charger, I'm not bringing my Apple Watch on this trip so I don't need that charger, and my Beats headphones. And that is everything. So now that everything is packed and ready to go, we are set to head over to my parents' house, my family home, to spend the night so we can catch our early flight tomorrow. Good morning. Today is the day. Since it's a family vacation, I spent the night in our family home because we have an early flight. So this just makes it all easier. So I'm ready as far as outfit goes, but let's fix up the space a little bit. Make me look a little more alive this morning. Mm -hmm. 